Well, hi to hell, everyone. So, uh, I've had one interesting day. So, I posted a video talking about a, was it, a bad good day or something like that. And I've had a lot of fun. You know, okay, so I had a lot of fun today and getting a, a lot of stuff done. I don't know why, but, you know, I've just been energy. Actually, I know why. My new diet. I am on so much damn energy right now. I'm like bouncing all over the place. So, since the last video, I finished building all the truck and I stocked it. And I have so much stuff in that truck. I mean, it just insane. It's insane on how much uh, supplies I have in the truck now, and I got a spot for every place, and still have plenty of room all over the place to put more stuff in. So. I'm loving this setup and uh, sealed up the whole entire roof got all that done and did a little test pass but I realized I needed to do that outside and it's so hot yep <laughs> I and mean, this is a murder intersection guys I'm at that beach in Southside and there's cars coming from way back there and you can't see them but that, uh, that van I don't know if you saw it in the camera but there was that tie-dye van almost ran into the pickup that was in front of me. I have no idea where the hell that car just came from. Were they in? I don't know. So, anyways, <clears throat> that murder intersection is going to be... <laughs> oh, shit. Um, what are you doing? Just slow down, dude. You ain't going nowhere. There's cops up here. So, anyways, I, uh, I was going to do a little, um, you know, testing of painting it. Uh, painting the roof and realized it needed to be outside so then I took it outside and it just it was drying too quick to the heat so now I got a spot where it's a little shady and uh, I'm going to do that but I'm going to Lowe's to go get some tape because the overspray is like insane so I'm going to tape it and they got some stuff where it has a little bit of tape and then it has like a drop cloth where you like plastic and you unravel it and so I'm going to do that really 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 quick I mean I don't give a shit about uh, a line or nothing like that. I'm just gonna pop it up there so I don't have overspray all over the windshield and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, I did. Well, ah, what the hell? I'm gonna I'm gonna say stuff if I post a video. Then, yeah. Uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna post this video. But anyways, so um, I'm sitting back here looking at the news, and yes, I'm going there again. And it's it's come to my attention that. Well, as it comes to everybody's attention, that what news media you listen to, what dictates where you are, and Jesus Christ, what do people have a death wish? That dude is just blowing through down the center of the road. Holy crap! <sighs> Anyway, that scared the shit out of me, to be completely honest with you. Um, sorry, I'm paying attention to traffic, and people in front of me are moving over to the side of the road. And I'm trying to see if a cop's coming up behind me, but I don't see one. So, anyways, it's, it's been a weird-ass day. Like, for real. Uh, it's just like this whole day's been, like, something's not right about it. Is it a full moon tonight? I don't know. Anyways, let me go back to what I was saying. So, you have two news medias. And if you listen to one and then listen to the other, you have two completely different stories. And what I do is I go on, um, you know, like CNN and MSNBC and all them. And I just go on YouTube and watch little, you know, I'm not going to watch the whole entire uh, show. But I just watch little clips of this and, and stuff that they want to promote. Understand that. I'm not... You know, I'm not picking what they say. I'm just, I'll click on a video about a particular subject, see what they had to say, and then I go and listen to the other side, whether it be uh, Newsmax or Fox, or I've, I've really been digging the Sky News Australia. Um, you know, but they, uh, they talk about a lot of stuff that's happened in Australia, and I've said before that, you know, Australia is going to, you know, if you know about what's happened in Australia, you know, what's going to happen to us if we lose our guns because they lost their guns i believe back in the 90s i think it was like late 90s or early 2000s they got rid of their guns i think i'm going off memory here so anyways 
But it's... They're no longer the news. If, if you can go somewhere and have a story and have two completely different sides of one particular topic, then that is no longer the news, okay? The, the news media is no longer, it's, it's, it's not news. That's what I'm saying. It's not uh, objectionable, you know, st where they're not having any kind of political spin. It's nothing but political spin on both sides, you know, and that's, that right there is probably the biggest problem we have in America. It's not the idiots running it on both sides. It's not our, you know, uh, the people that supposedly is in charge of us, which I'm really leaning toward fuck them all, you know, but it's, the news media is not, it's, it's a, it's a social directive of a political party. Okay, it's, they're no longer supplying us with information for us just to take in. They're supplying us with uh, talking points and, uh, you know, their uh, personal objective for that political party. You know, and it's, it's hard for me to get anything uh, informative because everything's so slanted on both sides. I need to stress that, you know. I mean, I myself am, I lean toward conservative aspects but I'm not a Republican in any chance, any state of the form or the word, and I'm definitely not a Democrat either, you know? But it just, like my thing is, how do we fix something like this? And we do have the power to fix it. We, as the American people, could fix 99% of the problems we have in America by simply doing one thing, and this is across the board with everything, Turn it off. Okay, get their ratings to drop so low that they can't even have, they can't even make money anymore. Because we're giving them the money when they get views, just like with YouTube. If you subscribe to me, okay, and I get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watched hours, YouTube would contact me saying, "Hey, do you want to make money now?" That's all it takes. You know, there's eight hundred thousand people just in Jacksonville. If I can get 1,000 of the people in Jacksonville to click a button, which is free, and to watch um, a four-minute video, which all they have to do is hit play and walk away, I could theoretically make money, and it's based off advertising. The news, they make their money by advertising. The reason CNN and Fox News and, well, the channels themselves, not the news, but the channels have these millions and millions of dollars is because advertisers give money, or businesses give money to them to advertise their business on their channel. You know, that's how it works. If we turn it off collectively, okay, if we say, until y'all get your shit together, we're done. Same thing with gas prices, and I know this sounds crazy, but if everybody quit buying gas, guess what? The prices would go down. If everybody said, you know what, we don't want an eighty to hundred thousand dollar pickup anymore, and everybody quit buying trucks, the prices would go down. It happens every single time. It's called supply and demand. You know, if you went to school more than five years ago, you probably learned that. Nowadays, they don't even talk about that stuff anymore. But it's um, it's so easy to fix it. But there's only one thing we have to do is, as a collective, just say no to all of it, both sides. What is going on? I just seen another motorcycle weaving through the center of traffic going like that. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm actually a little bit scared. But anyways, um, so I'm going to try some new things. I don't know, you know whether any of this is going to work, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to uh, put out some different type of information, try to help people out. And a lot of people, you know, I understand being lectured to or being, you know, if you don't agree 100% with everything I say, you get pissed off and say, I'm boycotting you, you know, and that's your right. But it's like, hopefully, if you've watched enough videos, you realize that, you know, I try to show a very objective opinion and whenever I don't agree with something I'll tell you I don't agree with it 
You know, I try to tell you everything about me without going over, you know, overboard with it. So, but anyways, this is my little journey to Lowe's. This is to go pick up. Oh my God, I just spit on myself. I am so dehydrated. But uh, I'm going to Lowe's to uh, get the little tape with the little drop falls attached to it. And then uh, hopefully later on tonight, uh, the truck will be done and I'll show you guys uh, once it's done. I may just do it in the morning after it dries. So, but they had this up. God, my lips are so. I apologize for licking my lips all the time. But I'm so dehydrated right now. I got water next to me. I just, I'm trying to drive and talk. Um, but the, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, okay. So there's a spray can. Okay, I'm spray painting the roof. And there's a spray can called Turbo. Okay, and the thing's huge. Just like, I can't, I can't show you guys because I'm turning. I can't let go of my steering wheel. Anyway, it's a really big can. It's like four cans in one. And has a special tip that does like a 10 inch fan, but it's like that big. I mean, it's, it's a big can. Um, but anyways, it's like, you know, I've seen people like paint a small car with like two or three cans. And it's, uh, I think like 15 or $16 a can, which I, that's how I'm gonna paint uh, Hoochie Bama. Uh, Cause I'm gonna paint the whole entire thing white. And then I'm gonna do some uh, decorations on it. And then um, I want to see if they have a can like that that's clear or maybe if I can swap the tip over to uh, use a clear can, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, I'm going to get everything done. I am so out of it. I'm thinking about the motorcycle. I'm thinking about all this stuff in my head while I'm trying to talk to you guys. So, but I made it to Lowe's. Anyways. But I'll show you more about what I'm doing once I get to that uh, point. If I don't do it later tonight, I'll do it in the morning whenever I get to the... I'm going back to the window job and all my jobs are messed up. Everything's messed up. Everything's... You know, I'm fixing it, but it's just everything's taking longer than what I thought. But I had my truck delivery today and... Yeah, if y'all seen the other video, you know. But anyways, that's it for now. Peace, love, money. I'm out.